Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Denali. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O. And you can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. All right, so today I've got a few little updates and a story time I wanted to share with you guys. Um, hi, it's been a little while since I did one of my coffee chats and I actually, I have a coffee in the car with me. I'm not gonna drink it because I always feel like it's actually too distracting. So you enjoy your coffee while I talk at you. I also, oh wait, this is fun. Oh no, are they upside down? Okay. I also have some donuts that I got for my employees who are here in the office right now. Seattle has been in the midst of a snow storm. I don't know, that sounds like, <laughs> storm just sounds violent. But it's, there's a good amount of snow and a decent amount of ice. So anyways, I had some people who showed up to the office today and of course I appreciate that. So I grabbed them a donut. They're really good donuts too. These ones are, it's a chocolate cake with a peppermint icing. How good does that sound? Are you a donut person? Let me know your favorite donut down below cause I'm a donut freak. Second thing I wanted to mention, I was really hoping to show and unbox this for you guys uh, before Christmas. However, I wanted to give a shout out to the company Rose Forever who reached out to me and asked if I would like one of their beautiful rose bouquets. I said yes because I thought it would be an amazing uh, Christmas gift for my mom who I'm going to insert a picture here uh, of her with her bouquet. Thank you so much, Rose Forever. She absolutely loved it. Have you guys seen these bouquets on Instagram before? I always see, you know, all the big influencers, they have these beautiful preserved rose bouquets. They last for a year, which is amazing. Um, and I got to customize, I picked out the color. There's like a million different colors. I picked yellow because it's her favorite. And then you can also pick, um, you know, the case that it comes in. So I picked this uh, black velvet circular one. They had square, you could pick white. They had a bunch of different options. But anyways, it was a really fun gift. And I love that it stays for a year because that's kind of one of the bummers, I think of flowers, right? Is they die <laughs> like within a week or so, depending on how you take care of it. And I'm not good at taking care of plant life. So anyways, uh, Rose Forever has generously passed on a coupon code that I can share with you guys. So if you're interested in purchasing one, maybe somebody's birthday is coming up or you want to get something for Valentine's Day. I know it sounds crazy, but February will be here before we know it. Anyway, uh, the coupon code is Elducho15 and I will put a link down below to their website. So thank you again to them. All right, so the story time that I have for you guys is it's I guess essentially a bait and switch story about liquidation. So liquidation already can be kind of crazy. You don't always know what you're gonna, you're gonna get until it gets here. Even if you have a manifest of the items that you're going to receive, sometimes you can receive that pallet or pallets or whatever the case is and find out that it is not what you ordered or it's not the quality that you ordered or a million different scenarios that you can't really always anticipate. So I purchased a lot that I kind of felt was some, it was something different. So it was supposed to be, I believe a thousand hair pieces that uh, some of the brands were supposed to be the Scunchy SCU NCI, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, I wanna call it scrunchy, but that's not how it's spelled. Anyways, it was supposed to be like that brand predominantly and maybe some other ones. So basically I was purchasing a thousand pieces of hair stuff that imagine if you walked into like a Rite Aid or a CVS and you went to the women's hair aisle where the hair brushes are and the hair ties and the headbands and all that stuff. So imagine the hair ties, headbands, all that sort of stuff, right? You just took a picture of it. That's what I thought I was gonna get. So I actually will insert a picture of the photo that they used that they said I would, this was an example of what I res, would receive. Now this palette was unmanifested and the photo was used as an example to represent 
uh, some of the types of the items that I would receive. It wouldn't guarantee that everything I saw in the photo would be that, but it was along these lines. <laughs> so anyways, I purchased the palette. It was a thousand pieces. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember how much I paid for it. And then I waited a couple of weeks and then the boxes arrived. And I was really excited because I love hair ties and different stuff. So, you know, I've got a hair tie in now. I've got that, I think this is that scrunchie brand or whatever, scrunchie. I love these little headbands. I was excited because I was like, I'm gonna pilfer this and take some stuff for myself. And then the rest of it, I would maybe make small lots and put them on eBay and Poshmark to resell. Great, just a small item, easy to store in the warehouse, lots of different pieces, opportunity for a decent return on investment. Well, when I opened up the boxes, I was surprised to find what was in it. So I will insert pictures here for you guys to look at. Uh, I received a thousand pieces of hair, you know, doodads that were all red, white, and blue. Uh, I was a little shocked because this is all of it. Like, not just one box, not just like 20% of the inventory, 10% of the inventory, 40%, 100% of the inventory was all of this. <laughs> you know, and I go to open the other box and the other box is the same. Yeah, this was pretty frustrating because the photo that they provided, while I knew it wouldn't be those exact items, I thought it that photo was representative of the types of items I would receive. And that photo, again, I'll put up here for reference, appeared to show some, you know, a variety of items first off, whereas like, I think there was only five different styles in what I received maybe. Uh, and I'm losing my train of thought. It, they all appeared neutral. Whereas these are red, white, and blue. Now, before I get any comments from people saying, that will still sell. You're right. I know you're talking to the woman who will sell anything, right? I, I'm the queen of, I will sell anything. I will try selling anything and everything. You're right, but that's not the point. If a picture had been taken of this box of these items, and I had seen that, I wouldn't have purchased it because it's just a smaller niche market uh, of red, white, and blue items. I, you know, my immediate thought when I saw it was maybe this would be for a gymnastics team or this would sell really well at, uh, you know, 4th of July. <laughs> Someone recently reminded that the Winter Olympics are coming up. So yeah, so this was pretty frustrating. Uh, I reached out to the company that I purchased it from and I said, what the heck, this is not what I ordered. And their immediate response back was essentially, yes, it is. Bye. <laughs> so I had to escalate my claim and dispute to them. And I finally got a mediator involved in my claim who looked into it further and they basically opened up an investigation regarding the merchandise because it was very misre re misrepresented. <laughs> so I was actually planning on making this a video for you guys and not having a resolution to my claim because it's been going on for, I don't even know, a month or two now. However, <laughs> literally as I was uh, about to film this video, I saw that I had received an email from their customer service mediator person. And they actually reached out and said that I could, they're offering me some sort of a refund. I do think it's, I think I'm getting a hundred percent refund minus the cost of the freight. So the freight would be the shipping, which a lot of times costs a lot of money. So I think I'm going to take it assuming, again, I need to read the email, but I believe it's assuming I get to keep the merchandise because um, they don't want it back. They know it's junk. They know they sold me junk. A lot of it was off brands too. Like there were some of the scunchy, <laughs> there was some of the scunchy brand in there, but 
it was a lot of brands that actually look like it was probably from like the dollar store I'm guessing <sighs> so if they say I can keep it and they're giving me a hundred percent of what I paid for it back then I'll probably take it and the freight I will just lose the money on the freight obviously I will still sell the merchandise because again I'm the queen of I'll sell anything and hopefully, you know, I make my money back and make a little bit on top of that. It is very specific merchandise. Um, but I guess I wanted to share this video kind of as a warning to everybody. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have thought, you know, personally, if I reflect on it, what could I have done differently? Well, I mean, I could have read the reviews of the seller of the item a little more more closely. I thought I did, but I should probably look into it further. Additionally, I should probably leave my own review of my own experience. And what else could I have done differently? <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe just go over the listing with a fine tooth comb. I do feel like I did read the agreement well. And obviously since I, you know, getting my money back, they feel the same way. Um, but just be wary. And, you know, a lot of people think that liquidation is the promised land and that all their financial problems will be solved or their inventory sourcing, whatever problems will be solved. And it's just not the case. That's not what liquidation is. In fact, it's a really big gamble. And this is a great example of that. Um, so I hope that was helpful to you. If you are somebody who has done liquidation in the past. I'm curious if you've ever had situations like this before happen to you. I'm not the first person I know who's had uh, disputes or claims against companies with liquidation. It's actually really common and you do have to be your own advocate. Don't take that, uh, that first uh, response of too bad, your SOL, uh, because you really need to fight to get your money back. And I actually think that I had to threaten, th I think I threatened, it wasn't a threat because I actually think I did it. So follow through on my word. Going to the vice president of the company that sold it to me. And then additionally, I said that I was going to report them to IC3, which I learned from my best friend, Ty, who is um, Lux Huntress on Instagram. It's the internet crimes division part of the government. So if you feel like you've been swindled out of money, you can go to I, like the letter I, the letter C, and the number three, dot gov. And you can report an internet crime there. And I'm assuming somebody will look into it. I've never actually had to take the steps into doing it because I feel like it is pretty severe. And it's only a step I would take if I felt like I wasn't getting my own resolution and I hadn't done my due diligence in that way. So yeah. You know, it's just like with your health, right? You have to be your own advocate. You have to seek out maybe multiple opinions or you have to send multiple emails, whatever the case is. So anyway, just a little warning and story time and check in with you guys and let you know what kind of was up. I actually have, I have another dispute going, but let's wait until I have some resolution on that one because that one's a mess right now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out what's going to happen with that. I'll report back to you guys on that. But I just want to give you a little taste of real life. These are the things that I'm actively dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm, yeah, it's just, it's just the cost of doing business. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. If there's snow near you, be safe, stay warm. And if there is sun near you, enjoy it for the rest of us. <laughs> Uh, I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.